Hi, Ford here from Attitudes. Welcome to another Adobe After Effects on 3D Max tutorial. Well, today the aim of the game is to get a logo kind of done, and more of practice than anything else. But we're going to use a bit of a 3D element here because um, making a 3D globe in After Effects uh, just doesn't have the same effect. Now the texture isn't that great on the globe as you can see, but it's really just to show you how to do it and you can then go and improve on it yourself. Now what I, what I have here is a few things in, in action. Okay, I have text, I have a PNG file which is a graphic, and I have a EXOR file which is a sequence file from 3ds Max. Now what eventually we're going to do is this. Okay, just a normal text going around the globe, but it looks more, a lot more realistic than going around, you know, a moving 2D image. But what we can also do is, if you're a bit more proficient with 3ds Max, um, is you can take that text off and put this one on. And this is 3D text, okay? So if you have, if you can make 3D text, you can make it a lot better like this, okay? But if you don't, it's no big deal, you can use normal text. Now we're going to start off this in after sorry in 3ds Max first, so we're going to hop over to 3ds Max, 3ds Max. Okay, now the main thing to remember here is we're not going to be doing any kind of serious technical stuff. Okay, all we're essentially going to do is create a sphere. We're going to apply a texture to that sphere, and then we're going to record ourselves rotating it. That's it. Okay. Um, I've only started learning 3ds Max myself recently, so this is just something I was messing around with, came across and thought it would really work well for a logo or some kind of intro. So the first thing you're going to do is go up to this symbol up here for new, or you can go to file new, which is this here, go to new there. But we're just going to go to new, because it's handier to click on up here, this one here. Okay, so what we need to do is create a sphere, and that's the most simplest thing you can do in 3ds Max. You don't need any knowledge to do this. Up here on the right hand side you have a create icon. Click that. Then you have geometry. Just click that as well. And in the object type box here you have sphere. Now if you click that, and then click once on the grid, and drag. If you hold left down, click once, hold left down on drag, you'll get a globe like this. Now relative to the grid, you want, grid, you want one about this size. Okay, you don't want it too big because the texture will apply very grainly to the, you know, to the sphere. So something around this size will do fine. Now that it's there, if you click again, you'll be creating another one. So we're going to go to up here, to select and move, and we're going to click that once. Now we want to bring this, if you, if you use your tool here to look around, you can see that this globe is inside the grid. Now we want to bring that above, so we're going to go to the blue z-axis line and we're going to click that and drag it up above the grid. Okay. Now, if you get lost with views and you have something like this going on, just go up here, wait till this comes up and then click on that and it brings you back around. So, I'm going to wait till that's set right in front of me. Okay, it's too high, so I'm going to middle mouse click and hold down. I'm going to drag that down to where I can see it. And basically that's it. Now we're going to apply a texture to this. So press, while you have it selected, press M. And go to a new one, like the standard. Okay, takes a second to reset. There we go. Now you're going to skip all this and go down to maps. Okay. Now under diffuse color and across it'll say none click that and up here at the top make sure you're on new up here at the top you see bitmap double click that now this is what you're looking for okay you're looking for a sphere that was flattened sphere of the earth that was flattened so as you, when you put it back onto the sphere it'll look proper it's that kind of texture you're looking for to apply to the sphere you can take your time and look for this but the better you find it, the better effect will be. Now I've just taken one that's not very good, it's very grainy and stuff, but it's just to show you, okay? And I click open. Right, now that you have it open, there it is there. 
you just left click and hold down wait till you see sphere 1 let go now if we press shift Q to pre-render this or to have a look there we go we have a 3d globe okay doesn't look very 3d but it will in a moment okay so we're going to close that out now what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this and up here on select and rotate we're going to click that but do nothing for the moment okay now what we need to do is we need to keyframe this globe moving around on its x-axis uh, y-axis actually I think so yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to auto key we're going to click that and at the very start we're just going to add a frame set key and you click that big key once and you're going to move all the way down to the end well to about 90 or 95 somewhere like that that's not really important and you're just going to click on the yellow line I think it's the y-axis just click and hold it down and just rotate the box and it'll, seem, it'll seem like nothing's moving just rotate the box right about four times and now when we go back you'll see that that's rotating on the keyframe now we're going to go to rendering we're going to go to render setup and the important reason why we do this instead of just rendering is we want it to render the whole frames and not just a picture so we're going to go to range see here go to common sorry and then click on range okay now to bring this into after effects um well, I'll show you what I use okay so I'm going to go down here in the same common thing you see here where it says files okay just click that now you want to change the directory of the, the output of what it's going to render so change it to somewhere you'll know so you can bring it to desktop I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call this let's say globe for AE okay okay so now we're inside globe for AE we're going to go down to save as type and we're going to select open EXOR image file see that? there and then you're going to call it whatever you like call it globe there we go and now what you're going to do is just click save okay just ignore all that and click ok now when we render okay it's going to create a sequence of files which will be this moving in 3d space in 3d so go ahead and click render now this takes a while depending on you know depending on your computer speed and stuff like that so I'm just going to click render to start this to show you what it's like what happens okay so you see there it's going along it's changing every frame but anyway, as I say, I'm going to cancel this because I'm going to have time to wait for this to render. But, I do happen to have, if I flick over to this, I'm going to create a new composition. Composition new. Okay, just make it about 10 seconds. You don't really want, need something large for this because it'll mostly be looping or repeating. Okay. Now, go back to your project files. And you're going to double click. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the directory that you saved your stuff in. So if you remember you go to globe and then you select the first one. You'll have lots like this. You'll have globe 0, 1, 2, 3. You select the top one, globe 0, 0, 0. Right? Not one, not, make sure it has a number on it. Make sure it's 0, 0, 0, 0. Click that and you'll go down and you make sure open EXOR sequence is ticked. Okay? So make sure open EXOR sequence is ticked and then just click open. Okay, now I have two variations of it because I've done it before. But I'll take this one we've just created and can work with that. Um, the, the one I created earlier on. Now I'm going to drag this down into the composition. And you'll see, now I have a, I made a background on mine because I was just testing it. So but the one you've have made should be just all black behind and look better anyway there we go we have our globe and it rotates okay there we go so what you're going to do is you're going to get some text onto this now as I say if you can do 3d text in any way shape or form in any other software use that uh, but make sure it, it can be imported into After Effects so if you don't have that as I say you can get a trial of 2012 I'm using 2010 we can get a trial of 2012 and 
basically it's the exact same thing. So if you get the trial, you can download that and use that. Now I'm going to go to text, create a new text layer. Okay, and I'm just going to type. Okay, attitudes.com. Now, make sure you have the whole thing selected. And now you can mess around with the size and say, what I would say to you is the narrower you get it, the better. So if you can go over here, like this, you see that? Bring it down as much as you can until it squishes too much because when it goes around, it's a bit distorted. So you can change the color to anything you think that suits the globe. Um, even white, we'll use white for now because it's a bit clearer to see. And what I'm going to do is, with this text layer selected, okay, attitudes.com selected, I'm going to go to effect, perspective I think, is it? Yes. Okay, in perspective, go to CC sphere, okay? And select that. Now, what that's going to do is, it's going to make it that the, th the text, see? just doesn't move, doesn't rotate or anything. Make sure you're at the start of your timeline. And we're going to click on edituce.com and go up to the effect controls. Now in the effect controls, um, what the first thing you want to do is move this up to the globe. Okay? Like that. Okay? Now make sure that you have a nice, nice room around the globe that it just matches it. Okay? So I'm just going to make mine a little bit bigger. Okay. Just so this not doesn't look as stuck to the globe. Bring it to about here. That's fine. Now we see it's just text bent around. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to radius. Okay. And you're going to mess with the radius settings. You'll see there what happens. It goes around more. Back. And mess with it until you get what you want. Now, what you have to do is to make sure that under render, you click outside, okay? Because that's just going to render it going around once, not the whole thing reversed and everything. Now, mess around with the radius as you want. You can mess around with the offset, and if you want to be even funky, you can, you know, you can move it around to where you want. But there's also a... One second, let's get that kind of centered. Okay, now what you can do is, you can click on rotation, bring that down. And there you can change the rotation. Now there's a quite nice effect with the y-axis, okay? You could have... Oops, not the y-axis. Must be the x-axis. Yes, there you go. So you could have something like that going around as well. You really just place it where you want it to be. I'm going to keep it in the middle of it for now, but, you know, it's up to you. Now, though I don't really mind about lighting and shading, okay? You can go into light and you can increase the intensity of the light. Make it duller, darker, the height, the color, everything else. I'm not bothering with that for now, okay? I'm going to close that down. Now, once you have the position where you like it, and you have it, you know, everything is all sorted out, make sure to start your timeline and go drop down attitudes.com. I just find it easier to work like this. Click on effects, bring that down. Click on CC sphere. Click on rotation, okay? And on the stopwatch for, I think it's X, yes. On the stopwatch for X, click it. Okay? Now you want to go down to where the globe ends. I think it's about four seconds. Here we go. Okay? And what you want to do is, first of all, bring this up and trim comp. Okay, so we know what we're working with. And, and again there you can't see the globe so there and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create another I'm going to, I'm going to drag the coordinates here and I'm going to hold it down and bring it right a good few times okay and as you can see it's going around there so bring it around a good few times and then stop so what happens is if we go back to the start okay now, if I do a RAM preview, while I'm doing the RAM preview, I'd just like to mention again that, as you saw from my last video, attitudes.com is now live. I am having some issues with some of the file pages not working at the moment, but I am working on fixing that. 
Um, but what I would like from you is basically suggestions for what you would like on the website. So if you'd like to see a particular type of thing on the website, then comment below and let me know. As always, feel free to subscribe. Um, but yeah, what I'm hoping to do with the website is, I'm hoping that it gets to a stage where I have uh, tons of project files up there for you guys to download. And I'm happy to say this will be the first one. Okay, So if you don't have the 3D globe, um, I'm going to give that to you free. I'm going to put everything into a zip, put instructions in there, and then you can just put in your text and change what you want to say. Okay, So this will be up on the website within the next few days, completely free. And if you have any problems with it, you know, leave a message on the forum up there, which will be up soon, and let me know what's going on. But as you can see, this is going around the globe pretty nice, and it's a nice effect. It's, it's, it's mostly used as a logo or even as an intro if you want, if you're into kind of, you know, something related to that, like a globe or news or something. So as you can see, the globe is 3D in the sense that when it moves, kind of the, the angle and the cones of where things change in regards to its place on the map um, works fine. Now I'm just going to hit numpad to get this render to give you an idea of what we've done. Okay? So it's pretty good. Now you see the problem there, it's kind of changing at the same speed as the globe. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring this down uh, I'm going to bring this down to about here. Okay? And that's what that's going to do is change the speed so that it doesn't look like it's in the same section. And what you can even do is, to get a kind of make sure it's, you know, it doesn't look like it's stuck to it, bring this keyframe down here, bring this one past it to the end, Okay, and that's going to make the text go in the opposite direction. Okay, so we put that there, and go back to the start. And if you see when I move forward, attitudes.com goes in the opposite direction. Okay, to the globe, and that's a nice effect as well. Okay, now what you can always do as well is highlight both the keyframes, right click, and go to keyframe assistant, and just do easy ease. Okay, and that'll give it a nice smoother movement. So I'll do a RAM preview, and see, depending on how long it takes. Uh, just do a short one for now. But what you can have is you can have this logo repeating constantly, like in your background if you wanted. And again, if you if you do put the, the globe behind the green screen in 3ds Max, you can just key that out, and it'll fit you know transparent to any screen that your video clip that you're on. Uh, there's loads of stuff you can do with it. So. Um, I hope this helps, and just before I go, I'll say again, don't forget to go and visit attitudes.com for some exciting stuff happening there. And don't f don't be afraid to subscribe or comment. So I'll give you one more RAM preview for this. Here we go. And there you go. And you can slow that down and speed it up as much as you like by changing the keyframe positions. As you can see, it's a nice effect. The text looks like it's going around the 3D sphere, and the globe itself is 3D moving around. Well, I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, I may have more 3ds Max tutorials um, once they're related to something I'm doing in After Effects. But in a few days, probably tomorrow the next day, you can find the project files for all this, including the globe in EXOR format, on my website. Okay, I'm having a few problems with it at the moment. Uh, the files page isn't working, I think for users of Chrome. So I'm working to fix, to fix that. But yeah, go on, have a look and tell me what you think. And leave a comment below. This is Porik from Attitudes saying, see you next time, bye bye.